As they come to the close of their regional tour, global institutions leaders led by the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon have pledged to focus on supporting peace efforts in Kenya and the region. Ban told a press conference at State House last night that the UN is keen on stabilizing Somalia, warning that continued insecurity in the lawless country is a threat to regional stability. Kenya is among countries affected by Somalia's lawlessness after Al-Shabaab militants vowed revenge attacks to protest the continued military presence in their country. On this part, the World Bank President Jim Yong Kim said the bank will be investing 355 billion shillings in Kenya in the next three years to support developmental projects. Our work as governments to restore peace where conflict is broken out in the region and to further the economic integration that will lead to inclusive prosperity has long required and attracted like-minded partners. But the leaders of these bodies have taken the time to personally travel here to better understand the conditions on the ground is strong proof of this renewed cooperation. We especially appreciate the pledge totaling some $8.3 billion, all in support of co collaborative work to build peace and bring development. It is vital that these resources build on the work we have already done and that they be guided by the expertise we have gained in the region over the years. Ownership is crucial to their success. This means that we leaders in the region will need to be fully engaged while our partners in turn respond as necessary. The two were accompanied by the president of the Islamic Development Bank Group, Ahmad Mohammed Ali Al Madani, high level representatives of the African Union Commission and the European Union. This morning, Kenyatta will grace the first ministerial conference on sustainable transport at the United Nations office at Gigiri, Nairobi. The meeting will be attended by the UN boss and other high ranking officials from across the world to chat the way forward in sustainable transport. I'm Wanjira Longauer for Capital TV.